What's up guys, Josh from Minor Lights. It's been a while, we've been doing a lot of developments, a lot of developing, um, just a lot of struggle, but we're, we are on the home stretch, finally. Um, I've been working on the logic and the code, but as you see, I basically have, we have five output channels on our connects board. So this is a demo of our, our connects board. Um, as you see, I have a uh, flash around here because I make changes in code and flash it. But basically, I want to do a demo real quick. So you have five output channels. You have a left and right all, as we call it. It actually gets activated with turn signal break reverse. Then we also have a uh, left and right blink only channels. And that's represented by these two. So when you activate a turn signal, only those blink. If you hit brakes, these are not affected. Um, and then we have what's called a pass through channel. So you can just wire, let's say, your rock lights there. If you don't want those to get affected by turn signal break reverse, you can wire your rock lights there, and they'll just always do whatever the controller's doing. So let me kind of do a demo. And so basically the idea is this is, would be a 12 volt trigger, so like a rocker switch. And if you were to activate it, as you see, they will start blinking. So you have your all channel blinking and your uh, turn signal only channel. And this is actually an internal flashing mechanism. So the software is actually having this blink. So that's cool. So this can be your only turn signal module. And these two wires here, which I have stuff coming to demo, is a left and right output trigger for 12 volt. So you can wire up external lights. And I'm gonna have that demo in a future demo. But then a cool thing is if I take the uh, right trigger and actually connect it, we can have what's, you know, hazard mode, which everyone, you know, likes. So you have a hazard mode where everything blinks. And then again, if we disable it, everything goes back to kind of doing what it was doing. And then you also have a brake system. So again, you try this to like a, your brake but if you click that, they flash five times and then go solid red. You release the brake, they fade out. Again, hit your brakes again, they flash five times and go solid red. And same thing with our reverse trigger. They will basically go bright, solid white. So again, you can put that to a rocker switch. You could put that to, you know, if your system has a brake or reverse system, excuse me, um, trigger you know anything with the gear shifter or whatever that can be triggered on that so simple just 12 volts so that's kind of the foundation of what the system is um, and we have a lot more functionality on this board but that is the basics of turn signal brake and reverse functionality and i will do a longer video or with the additional features